Everyone, Dwayne here with Bronco Wild Outdoors. Gavin is somewhere in the back of the Bronco there hanging out. We're enjoying our day out here and the lake and the woods and the birds and, you know, all that good stuff. But, hey, on a serious note, I want to do one more video, just one more, on the Internet about the chip issue. Now, this is kind of new news. You know we've had a chip issue for years, really. It's been going on for a long time, uh, especially in the last two years. But just this week, on March 16th, there was an earthquake in Japan, which has once again shut down a major chip supplier to Ford and other manufacturer and other companies as well that do in other industries. So once again, we already have this issue, and now there's that. One thing I want to mention, a lot of people, they don't consider this. In 2020, when manufacturers, automotive manufacturers cut back on their chip uh, orders, and a lot of orders for a lot of things, but for this video's sake, chips, um, it was because they saw a big turndown in the automotive sales, so they want to be stuck with all this inventory. Which I don't agree with that, because if you go back to 2011, there was a major chip shortage then as well. I read up on that this weekend. I had no idea. It's like, geez. Uh, but anyway, so chip manufacturers repositioned, they pivoted, and they started manufacturing higher tech, the high tech chips needed for computers, gaming, TVs cameras, microphones, all of the stuff needed so you could work or learn from home, right? So if we're not driving to work or going to school, we're at home working, learning, and all that good stuff. So then the automotive sales started to rebound quicker than I think most people thought, at least most analysts thought. And then automotive companies came calling to the chip manufacturers, and guess what? <laughs> They're having to get back in line. And some chip manufacturers have had to shut down because of everything going on in the last two years. So here we are. Some of the chips used in the all vehicles, Bronco behind me and others, are legacy chips. They are very simplistic, older design, lower profit for chip manufacturers. So, you know, think about it. I mean, yes, they have a big, huge bulk order to do, but, you know, there's that. And then some of the chips in here are high-tech, very high-tech, some of the systems. Like a, a chip that controls a seat heater is pretty simplistic versus one in the navigation or something to do with lane keep assist, maybe a higher-tech chip. Those are all major issues. So I think what you're going to see is the integration of the chips into each manufacturer. Uh, you're going to, it, it, mainly in automotive. You know, Ford's going to have more of a control, in my humble opinion, on the chip manufacturing uh, the design, and not the not the supplier, but they're going to have a vested interest. I think I don't think they'll they'll uh, manufacture them themselves. But if I was running the show, I would be heavily invested in a company making the chips, so I can make sure that my needs are met, um, my company's needs are met. So anyway, Ford announced last week, as you probably already know, this is not new news. I get it. They're going to start shipping some vehicles without certain components working. Rear climate control, auto start stop, maybe something in the nav or whatever. They really haven't announced that. But if if I hadn't received my Bronco and I was told that I could get it with everything except seat heaters, steering wheel heater, and auto start stop, at least for the next 12 months, like, it, you know, they would give me an IOU to fix it within a year. I'd do the deal in a minute. Now, I'm not suggesting you do or don't or whatever. I get it. We're all different, but I would. I'd take it in a heartbeat, like not an issue. Manufacturers are going to have to start rationing the chips that they can to do other components in manufacturing, right? They need the safety stuff. They need the stuff that makes the lights work and the engine run and the brakes and everything and the fuel uh, system. You know, all of that obviously has to be there. But the rear climate control, auto start stop, something in the nav or infotainment, some of those things may be rationed until they can get them. Now, why is that a, a good thing to do that? None of this is good, but the good news is, is that the companies that supply the manufacturers with all the components needed to build any vehicle are working. The men and women at the manufacturing plant, in this case for the Bronco map, they're working. They're continuing to, you know, the economy, that, that ecosystem of the economy is still going. And that's what I like about it. That's why I would be willing to do it because I feel like I'm being part of the solution. And they're, again, not saying if you don't, you're part of the problem. Not at all. That's not what I mean. I just mean that I would feel like that I'm doing my part to keep this whole thing going. Now, this is only for now. 
This excuse can't keep going forever. Meaning other companies, someone, and, and there are companies, there's new facilities being built, um, other companies getting into the chip industry, but all this takes time. I mean, it takes a lot of capital and it takes a lot of time to get everything going. Now, there's lasers used in chip manufacturing from what I understand and neon gas is part of that. And yeah, if you go ahead and Google where neon gas, a lot of it comes from, there's some stuff going on in that part of the world right now. So between natural disasters, earthquakes, or accidents, fires, or chaos in the world, there's always that something out there. And I think manufacturers are gonna to have to start thinking about contingency plans. We need a plan C. I was a builder for Extreme Makeover Home Edition. We had plan A, which was to build the house in four and a half days. Most people think it's seven, it was 106 hours, but four and a half days, and that was plan A. Plan B was, what if a supplier doesn't show, uh, show up with material? What if certain trades don't show up? What if we have bad weather? You know, plan B started to fill that in. Plan C, plan C was like, okay, we've got suppliers not showing up and a storm and, you know, some whatever major chaos going on in the world. What's plan C? Like, we layered that. We were ready. We were ready for anything. Okay, you can't fix everything. You can't know everything. You can't know all the unknowns, right? You can't foresee all of the issues that are happening. But you can, if there's a history of chip shortages, you cannot allow yourself to be in that position again. So I think manufacturers have learned from this and I don't think this issue will be an issue again. I really don't. Uh, no one in a position of authority would have a job five years from now if we have another chip issue because they didn't order enough or they canceled orders when they shouldn't have or whatever. So I think the manufacturers are really uh, gonna step the game up, be more in control as vehicles go to more of the uh, more EV vehicles built. These chips are having to get more high tech made mainly for that, not just a, a chip that can be integrated into different type of systems or uses, but made just for that vehicle or that system in that vehicle. So those are some of the things going forward. I think manufacturers have learned. I know that the chip issue hopefully will not be an issue again, and at least it'll be something else. But cross your fingers. Let's hope for no more issues. And the birds are just jamming out here today. I don't know if you can hear them. And Gavin and I are going to get back to enjoying the lake here. I just want to do the short video. If you liked it, give me the thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And hit that bell icon so you know we get oh, go live. Yeah, the purpose of this video was, yeah, you know about the chip shortage. But did you know there was an earthquake that has now caused another slowdown? Gavin, can you believe it? All right. You want to repeat everything that they need to do? Yep, a like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you'll get notified when a new video comes out.